Before we start this video, it's worth pointing out that as our channel grows, we're gaining the attention of scam accounts. We're doing our best to moderate these comments, but again, I want to remind everyone that we will never ask you to text us or call us to win a prize. If you're enjoying the content, we'd be honored to have your subscription and leave a like and a comment. It really helps the channel grow. Now, back to the content. You're watching Shooting USA, America's number one source for firearms news and information. Here's something I'm proud to show you, our Ithaca Model 37 Shooting USA commemorative 12-gauge pump. These days, it's a trap gun and upland bird gun, like the thousands of them out there hunting birds and turkeys in the hands of sportsmen around the world. But there was a time when the Model 37 went hunting on the battlefield. It's not well known that the Model 37 has a history of military service in World War II. Today, the Ithaca trench gun is both rare and very valuable and is one of history's guns. The sound is unmistakable and one you simply cannot ignore. Well, one of the things about a, a pump shotgun, it always, it always has kind of an authoritative sound and certainly a threatening sound. And this 12-gauge pump was a threat to the enemy, the Ithaca Model 37 trench gun. This is an extremely rare gun. It's the rarest of all trench guns. I have never held a Model 37 trench gun. I've never seen a Model 37 trench gun in the flesh. I've only seen pictures. They're extremely rare. So rare, in fact, that many people aren't aware there is such a thing. We all know the famous firearms of World War II, like the legendary Garand, but we don't often think about shotguns in battle. The Marines used lots and lots of them in the Pacific Campaign. They were very, very popular there. Uh, it, it's reckoned that uh, there probably wasn't one engagement in the Pacific that they didn't use trench shotguns in. But it almost certainly wasn't this shotgun. In fact, because of a decision by the Ordnance Department, the Ithaca Model 37 saw extremely limited action. Ithaca only made 1,400 trench guns. Before Top Brass asked the company to turn out 1911s for the war effort instead. The 37 probably didn't see much, uh, if any, combat. To my knowledge, there were no Ithaca 37s in the Pacific. Uh, probably most of them were Winchesters. So why focus on the Ithaca? Well, simply because, like Gary, most people have never seen one. Highly, highly sought after by collectors. Most trench guns, good trench guns, original trench guns, are very, very valuable. This is extremely valuable. You load the Model 37 through a port in the bottom of the receiver, four rounds into a tube magazine, chamber one by racking the forend, and top off the mag tube with a fifth shell. The Ithaca is bottom ejecting, so spent rounds eject at the shooter's feet and not at the soldier beside him. Superb gun, typical Model 37. Ithaca introduced the shotgun in 1937, building on a pump gun originally designed by John Browning. But Ithaca designer Harry Howland devised notable improvements to both the firing pin and ejection system, and Ithaca rolled out its Model 37. Then America went to war, and the gunmaker modified its sporting shotgun into a formidable close quarter weapon, adding a heat shield, rings to attach a sling, and a lug to mount the Model 1917 U.S. bayonet. And you can clip one of those onto it, which gives it a little added authority. So here we go. Plus, the Model 37 has no trigger disconnect, so a soldier could hold the trigger back and fire as fast as he could pump. That's five rounds real fast. And it's uh, quite comfortable to shoot. It's really, really smooth. Uh, it definitely gets, uh, gets the old blood pumping. The Ithaca also had the authority of a powerful load. Like all U.S. trench guns, the Model 37 scattered double-aught buck. 
both full brass shells, surplus from World War I, and paper shells from many manufacturers. Brass ones are real interesting looking, there's no question about it, they work just great, uh, but uh, uh, they did not use a lot of them during World War II. Primarily World War II, they used paper shells. The double aught load was so intimidating, Germany once tried to ban it from combat. We shot this at 10 yards, and you can see this is a really, really tight pattern. You know, whoever was, was, was shot with this, a Japanese soldier or whatever it may be, he's toast. It's a good, reliable, rugged gun, beautifully made. The Model 37 is one of the, one of the most successful firearm designs in history. Shotguns in battle. Americans have carried them to war since revolutionary times. The most famous is likely the Winchester Model 97 pump, which made a name for itself as the trench sweeper in World War I. The survivors today are highly prized by cowboy action shooters. And the Ithaca 1911s of World War II that the War Department requested are equally prized today by collectors. You've made it this far in the video, and for that, we thank you. If you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel, and we'll keep the uploads coming.